Hi everybody, time for a little weird science moment. This is a uh, tiny window motor. Not exactly like the Bedini style window motor, but uh, nonetheless an interesting experimental unit. You see the uh, standard SSG circuit right here. And here's the uh, bifiler coil. It uses uh, Neo magnets. Right now it's not spinning, it's actually in uh, self oscillation mode right now. You can hear that high pitched hum perhaps. And uh, there's a little resistor right there that I've got on the trigger. This is the uh, powering battery. It's a 12 volt, uh, 12 amp hour. This is the uh, charging battery. It's a 12 volt, 7 amp hour. And uh, right now I'm uh, charging up this battery and it's showing 12.85. Just for grins, I stuck a capacitor between a literal ground connection right here and here's the uh, cord uh, it's connecting it and over here to the negative side of my cap it's a uh, 250 volt, it's a 10 joule little uh, banana cap there and then uh, from the negative of the battery it's being charged I've got this yellow wire running down to this tent peg right here so that's the one that the battery and it's coming off the same terminal that the uh, self oscillating window motor is attached to and then we just go through the ground over to that one connected to the negative of the cap and the cap positive connected directly to the positive of the charging battery which would be this one right here and as you can see the battery is up 12.85 volts 12.86 the cap standing at 1301 so how do we account for the capacitor being at a higher voltage than the charging battery what sort of interesting phenomenon is going on just by putting the negative through the ground tapping it out at another spot about oh looks like about three and a half four feet over why would be why would we have more voltage going into this capacitor than we do showing tapped right here at the battery that's being charged by the self oscillating window motor hmm. things that make you go hmm thanks for watching you can see goes to the uh, negative side of my capacitor there so I'm just gonna disconnect this and so you can see what happens to the, uh, the voltage here we go disconnected and you can see the voltage dropping precipitously now I'll reconnect and boom right back up 1301 thanks and just for a little further uh, emphasis here I'm going to remove this one here that connects the battery the negative terminal of the battery and the uh, little uh, window motor and you can watch what happens to the voltage as well here watch boom, immediately starts dropping. It doesn't seem to drop quite as fast on this side. Maybe there's some residual in the earth, but it's still dropping pretty quick. I'll put it back on here. And bam, right back up 1301, 1302. So, fun.